Hey, hello, welcome. Today I'm going to talk about the new alliance and partnership between Lenovo and Jabra. Lenovo is offering the Think Smart Core, Microsoft Teams rooms for Windows device, and Jabra, the Panacast 50 video conferencing bar, which includes loudspeakers, a microphone, and camera, of course. I'm going to show you in detail how they work together. So stay tuned. Okay, let me bring you into my living room where I'm currently testing these devices. That's my screen, that's my television. The most interesting thing is actually here, standing on my loudspeakers. The Jabra Panacast 50, which includes loudspeakers, microphones, and these three lenses, which provide a very good wide angle, 180 degrees field of view experience. And they sit on top of the Lenovo Think Smart Core, which is just here. I'm going to open it in a few seconds to show you what's inside. Cable management is always very interesting because it can look ugly, but here it's done very well and also better than in the previous versions like Novo Think Smart Hub and 500. It's closer here to the main machine. And here you've got a power plug here. That's what you need always. Ethernet, you can choose between Ethernet and Wi-Fi. That's the cable from the Jabra Panacast camera. That's HDMI for the screen, for the monitor and the cable for the touch device Lenovo Think Smart Console, which is your device on the table, which I'm going to show you also in a few seconds. Here we have Jabra Panacast, and that's the button for Bluetooth pairing, Ethernet uh, connection, power plug, and then the USB-C to connect with your PC, laptop, desktop, or with a Windows room system like Lenovo. Okay, now you've seen that I've just joined the meeting. Let's see how it looks like on my screen. I'm talking directly into the microphones of the Jabra Panacast 50. Eight microphones are included. I'm sitting now one meter away from the Panacast and there are also four loudspeakers included. Video resolution is 4K, which means 30, 80, 40 to 1080 P. And the field of view is 180 degrees. The zoom, which I'm going to test in one second is 180 degrees. And the three cameras have 13 megapixels. So that's the quality, how it looks like directly. Now I'm using the zoom, but first, before I zoom in, I'm zooming out. You can see my full room experience. That's how my living room looks like. Okay, now we're testing the microphone when I'm going into the back of the room. Just a second. Digital zoom. Six times digital zoom, and I'm still talking into it. So I'm now like four meters away from the Jabra Panacast. Okay, let me show you now how to manage your ThinkSmart Core using the browser based version of ThinkSmart Manager provided by Lenovo. It's a very helpful tool, and here you can see already. It's currently in German, I don't know how to switch it to English, that I'm having here two devices. One is green, one is red, that means here with the red one I've got issues. That's easy to explain, the other one is currently offline. Here you can also see the online offline status and the Microsoft Teams version, which are currently used. That's also very interesting. You've got reports, you've got, and you can jump directly here to the log files and arrow descriptions. In the configuration panel, I can give it a name, I can give the name of my admin user, I can also use here to show, okay, Teams only mode or Skype mode, dual monitor mode, more about hardware settings, Ethernet or Wi-Fi configuration, more tuning here about which USB connections should be enabled. If I also want to add another hardware, uh, sorry, a hard disk SSD that I just switch the SSD on. And I can also lock the USB, so many things, how I can use the many different ways to use USB connections. Time zones, automatic or manual, and then Windows. I can uh, give a Windows password here and manage it, and I can also can manage it remotely. That's a very big thing using the Lenovo tools, but I also can use other tools like, for example, Team Viewer. And that's something which I could not do on an Android device. So, so remote monitoring is for me much easier on a Windows Microsoft Teams room system like provided here from Lenovo. Yeah. 
every good management system needs also a, a part where you can um, update the firmware and bring it to the latest state. Currently, I want the latest state. Here, I can do a reset, and I can also manage and say how I can, how I want to schedule the updates manually or automatically. Okay, this is now the mobile app running on my smartphone or my Android device. It also works on iOS. Here you can see an overview about which device is currently okay online. You can directly go into issues and go deeper here and find out what's wrong. Get help from the knowledge base in forums, bulletin boards. You have got access here to the reports from the last days. You can also filter on the device names. And then the health state. One is currently online, one is offline and more deeper information about the device versions. Then going into the device manager part, I'm going into the online device and here some high level overview, IP address and more about the open issues from the device. Currently this works fine and going deep into the configuration like name of the uh, device and the capacity planning like huddle rooms, more conference, much medium and large conference room. You can also manage it in your Microsoft Teams rooms admin center here. You go to the device part and it's the Teams room device on Windows. And you jump here to the peripherals. Currently, it's connected here with the Jabra Panicast and also the Jabra speakers and microphones and also a display. So everything looks good here. Everything is green and connected. I can also do a refresh of health status and see how it looks like. So everything is running very fine except the Skype, but that's something what I don't need here. More information about the Teams app, Teams agent and Windows operation system. More details here, more activity information, how was the audio quality in the past and more history information. Last but not least, I'm going to walk you through the configuration of the Jabra Panicast 50. Here I'm using the Windows version of Jabra Direct. And here you can do general things like renaming your camera, also enabling the Jabra RJ45 connection. This is coming soon um, in a few weeks to Jabra Direct. And you can control it using your Ethernet connection. You also get audio notification feedback and select capacity planning. So for example, currently I'm the only one in the room and it's defined as one person maximum in this room. If more people would uh, join this room and they would be caught by the camera, I will get a notification that it's over capacity. Very important for COVID-19. Camera settings. Yes, you can define it how you would like to use the whiteboarding sharing mode in a separate window. Yes or no. You can also increase the contrast here when you do whiteboarding. In the camera view, what should happen when a video conference ends, intelligent zoom, yes or no, smooth transition of video styles and faster or a slower medium speed of automatic zoom. It can be a little bit annoying when the zoom and auto tracking goes too fast. So that's the place where I can change and modify it. Then you've got a few uh, presets. You can choose between one, uh, one and two presets, and then you can define what should happen when you click on the preset button on your remote control. And you can modify the image quality settings. Video flicker 50 and 60 Hertz. Field of view, I'm currently using 180. I'm also using 50 here in Germany. And video stitching is set to hybrid. And then last but not least, you can uh, see the current uh, firmware version and serial numbers. If your remote control doesn't work or you forgot it or whatever, then there's also a chance to use the software version of remote control, which is very helpful. You can uh, enable or disable the intelligent zoom. I usually always use it, but you can also zoom manually in and out. You can also use your presets one and two, and you can also use the, this for, for scanning around and directing your camera from Panacast. Image quality can be set, brightness, HDR, sharpness, white balance and so on. And you've got more options like enabling the whiteboard window and also editing the whiteboard position. Okay, please share with me in the comments if you have more questions about the ThinkSmart Core together with the Jabra Panicas 50, I'm happy to answer them. And please also consider it here to subscribe. And thanks much for watching. See you next time.